I need to uh, put the uh, connector on these wires from my hot end from my printer. I am using these, uh, what is that, uh, Hilchi uh, JSTSM connectors. Came in a kit. This is a 2345 pin. And I'm using this. Uh, EWIS crimp tool. Actually, I've got another one besides that for, for a larger. This is uh, 26 to 16, and this one's 28 to 18. There's other ones out there that work, but uh, this is what I decided to get. So to start with, I'm going to start with a brand new razor blade. And I need a female pin. There we go. Come on a strip. Need two of them. And let's see how far back this needs to be stripped. Put this part here that goes around the insulation. So it needs to be stripped about right there. Not too hard. I don't want to cut any of the wires. There we go. Nice clean strip. And if it wasn't clean, I would just trim off the excess with the wire cutter. Next one. Oops. to fray all over the place. There we go. Boy, that's a mess. Yeah, like I said, just trim off all this. With regular wire, you don't have this problem. But this has got a high temperature sheath around it. There we go. Let's see how these look now. That's about the right length. Now with this I can go a little bit longer because if a little bit of wire goes in there it's not going to hurt anything. So the next thing, I want to make sure that the wires are inserted all the way. So to do that I'll 
butt that wire up against the very end. And when I have that, I can feel it on my finger on the other side and I mark it. So that way I know it's all the way in. So I can feel it on my finger and mark it. Okay, and they should come out about the same. And they do. Okay. So. That goes in like that. And I have found on this crimper from previous crimps. Oops. I don't want it twisting around, do I? Now, if you get it partially crimped and you need to back out, you just push that forward and it releases it. Just like that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and then I'm going to put the wire in. That seems to work better. You can see that. Uh, there's one that's going to crimp it tighter than the other one. That's going to be the front, where it's a little bit closer in, right there. Okay. Let's fiddle around with this a little bit. There we go. Put it in there. And on the front, I want to make sure it doesn't crimp on to the connector part. That's going to clear it. And I put this in there all the way. And then I'm going to look for my mark. Where's my mark? So I know that's where it needs to be. And crimp it down. Let's take a look. That's a good crimp. I can see the wire coming out the end and the insulation stops after the strain relief. So I'm going to do the same thing. Sometimes I can put the wire on it and then put it in, but this one seems to work better this way. And I got a phone call. And I'll call them back. Okay. So, put the wire in. I look at my mark here. And. You could feel that it was, the strands were coming loose there. There we go. Up to the mark. Crimp it down. And that's another good crimp. So another thing that I do on only on this type of wire is I'll use super glue to keep it from fraying. You no, know, just so I can control how much goes on there. I use an applicator. And that'll keep it from fraying back. And a little bit more.
careful not to put too much on there where it gets into the wires. Here we go. And if I want to make sure that it's cured before I handle it again, I'll get some zip kicker. And what this does is it instantly cures super glue. There we go. So now that's going to go into a two pin housing, the female side, which is this. You can see the these two two slots. That's going to be where the retention key goes, which is that little tab that's popped up right there on that side. There's no polarity to this, so it doesn't matter which one this goes into. Well. well that's a little bit too wide. So that needs to be a little bit tighter there. Let me uh I'm gonna squeeze the sides in a little bit. Like so. Because it didn't want to slide all the way into that. Now it should. Yep, there it goes. That's locked in place. Now it doesn't hurt to check and make sure that's good and tight. You also want to check and make sure that crimp went around the wires tight too. Oops. Bump my camera. There we go. And that's all there is to it. And it does take a bit of practice. The first couple of times you might have to cut the pin off and redo it, but after a while, you'll get used to it and it'll go pretty smooth like this one did. So, that's all there is to it. And that is uh, for the JST-SM. This is the kit that I got, uh, 520 pieces. And don't let children under five years of age crimp this according to this and I guess that's it